What's, What's going the on, deal, bro? bro? How you feeling? I'm doing great, man. Good love, you already know it. Appreciate you coming Come up on, here. Come on, man, always, always. Visiting us at the Oracle. It's only right, it's only right. <laughs> Obviously, I have you up here. I mean, if you want to take a ride, we can come talk, chill. Yeah, let's do that. And uh, huh? maybe course. go get some food. Of course. You got to tell me the spot. You got to tell me the spot out here. <laughs> I got you. Hey, so look, was it a rumor or did y'all really make an a, a offer for the Panthers? Oh, we, we talk about that. That's heavy. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, yeah. All my life, been grinding all my life. I know you just dropped an album. How long does that album take to come to life? Is that one took process, a minute. Right? Yeah. That one took a minute. It shouldn't take that long, but that one took a you minute. You had to make it right, though, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm proud of that album. It, it, it was a lot of blood, sweat. In your own way, you can relate to looking at basketball, you know, from not being a professional, just being a young kid with, with a dream and being somebody that, you know, got a passion for the game. All the process of getting here, that shit wasn't no straight line. It was ups oh, and downs and setbacks. And, and that's something that everybody's like, oh, you always know, like, you always knew you, you gonna be in the NBA? I'm like, I didn't, really. Right. I just love to play basketball. Right. But it was all about, you know, that was the goal. I had that on the wall. Like, that's what I want to do. No but, was, you know, how you get there. And, 100%. And enjoying the process, enjoying the journey. People to hear your music, you want them to feel inspired. 100%. And that inspiration and that emotion that you evoked out of them will turn into an action of, I want to support. That's crazy that you got that, because that wasn't the dominant narrative. When I thought about that, I'm like, what's the metric? Because it's not that you heard one good song and you want to see what else is on the album. That used to be what motivated the purchase. Right now, the metric is really inspiration. We got untapped value above us. Right. When you think about endorsements you can do outside of the court. It opens up so many doors and opportunities to turn your other passions into real life business, real life opportunities in that, in that front. You look at 50, 50 made the most money on vitamin water, bottom line. 10 times platinum. That vitamin water deal was the biggest. And not only just the check, but the perception of who 50 is now. All right. Puff is another example. Speaking of Puff, there's many conversation around yeah. the uh, Carolina Panthers and the I gotta uh, shake opportunity. Your hand on that. I, gotta, I gotta shake your hand. <laughs> so on the that. work, the, you're talking about the moves. The moves are still ongoing, so we're trying to figure something out. I'm a huge Carolina Panthers fan, right? Yeah. So Die Hard, Cam Newton, Ron Rivera, the whole yeah, squad. Like, yeah. you hear about Jerry Richardson getting in a little bit of trouble and whatnot. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I see what happens. Right. Oh, he might sell the team. Right. So you know, Puff sees on the tweets, I'm, I'm interested in uh, purchasing the, the Carolina Panthers. I'm like, I chimed in, I'm like, yo, me too. Yeah, like, let's, yeah. let's figure out how to make this happen. 100%. And it kind of paved the way for anybody in the business world of color. like. This is something that is for us a uh, huge opportunity. Yeah. But to be in this conversation, I think is something that is truly powerful and hopefully can move the needle when it comes to you know the, the next time that this comes around and whatnot. These young future entrepreneurs are gonna be fearless because yeah. of moves like that. They're not gonna they're not gonna even feel like it's taboo. They're gonna be like, this is what it is. This this why this is our example. That's a great point. I like guess becoming more and more every day and more you know. Expected as it's supposed to be in a surprise. Of yes, like, sir. hey, oh, he's doing that? Oh, yeah, he should be doing that. Exactly. You know? I think we so influenced by what's cool. Yeah. Even if you like think about the era we grew up in, my jeans would, I'd have got clowns in school wearing jeans that, that, that fit. I swear to God, they had to talk bad. They had to talk bad about me. And my shirt stopping up here, they had to clown me. You go back and look at them pictures, like, yeah. So, what what influenced the change is that it became cool. That's yeah. it. I'm gonna speak blunt. We, we, we having an on camera combo, but right, I'm gonna keep it raw. Yeah. Like, you know, the narrative of how we dealt with women. Yeah. Right, from, from when we grew up in rap music to what it is now, it's a much more positive conversation and it's healthier than what we grew up on. We grew yeah. up on like dysfunction for real. It was damn near disrespect. Disrespect <laughs> as a way of life, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you see Snoop with his wife. You know what well, I mean? That's, that, that's a great example. With his wife, great example. front and center. You know what I mean? And it's he's like, in his kid's life. He's present. Yeah, like the whole deal. You, but you're right, bro. You know what yeah. I mean? And so just just to speak to the point of how influential the seats that we sitting in are. I know you're a father. I got two daughters as well. Like how we treat they their moms, moms yeah. is the biggest example of, yep. of, of what they should expect when they get to that level, looking for somebody to share life with. Yep. You wake up every day like, all right, that's my, that's my job. 100%. That's my job. I get to do that. I don't have to. I get to. Right. In my case, it brought a better version of me out, yep. you know, just because I never want to be a hypocrite with my kids and be somebody that preaches it but don't live it. When I realized I was going to be a father, my life wasn't secure at that point. Right. But in hindsight, that's probably the best thing I did was have kids, for real. And 
seeing their father live a passion as a way of life, mm -hmm. I think that has a crazy impact on them in a positive way. Like when we yeah. tell them you can do whatever you yeah. want to do and, and you know, you can, you can live whatever your dream is. They like, yeah, of course you're doing it. I'm trying to instill that confidence right now with potty training. Like you can do anything you put your mind yeah, yeah, to, baby. Yeah, that's a tough one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's a tough one for sure. <laughs> Last time that I checked, it was five chains on my neck. It was no smut on my rep. Last time that I checked. How y'all doing? Oh, I gotta ask you a question. What's the best thing that you have? For sure, I was about to ask that same thing. <laughs> Self-made from the dribble. I was been saying I'm a killer. You got some spicy food? Yeah, we okay. have it. This is the fiery mama. Yeah. I want spicy, spicy. <laughs> spicy, spicy, that's what it is. Talk to me. You got it. Thank Appreciate you, sir. It. Spicy momo. That's what's up. Spicy heaven. It's got a little kick to it, for sure. Keep doing these shows, I'm gonna get fat, for real. What kind of food is this? This is Nepalese food. Nepalese? Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. All the way from Himalayas. From the Himalayas? Yeah. That's what's up. Compliments to the chef. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Thank you so much. Thank y'all.